Stephen, the, the cliche is a game of two halves. That, that kind of certainly was. I mean, you were so comfortable first half, but uh, they made it much more difficult for you second half. Yeah, we, we played very well first half, and I think uh, we created a lot of chances. And um, <clears throat> Vigoru and goal was brilliant for Waterford, you know, on the night. And, uh, um, you know, he, he's been a standout this year, and he, he made some unbelievable saves, really. And, um, you know, Waterford defended in numbers and defended well. Second half was different, of course, but Robbie Benz's goal was was something special, really. You know, special goal. The second half was different. Warford came into it, played well. Look, I thought it was a tight call for a the penalty there, and um, we hit the post, and then they go down the other end and uh, score to finish it off. But I thought the second half was really good and put it up to Dundalk, and I think we deserve something from it on, on the, the back of the second half performance. You shot yourself in the foot in a way, though, by not being, not having Stanley Abora available again because of suspension. Courtney Dufus can't play on this surface, and then you lost your captain, Paul Keegan. Yeah, look, it's a tough blow, Tony, and you're looking at the amount of games. I mean, this Friday is seven games in 21 days, so it's, it's tough on the players, tough on their bodies, and we're losing the player nearly every game. Um, but we just have to go with it. What can we do? Like it, it is what it is. But we get ready for Friday now. But Paul, different players are a massive loss to, to my team.